Hello, this is Noah, and welcome back to DigiKey's Another Geek Moment Summer Break Edition. Thanks to our friends at Nordeast Makers Minneapolis and Tech Shop and Chandler for helping us complete our projects. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fit an entire synth into an Altoids can. Now, I used to use digital synthesizers like NI's Massive and ReFX Serum to create music, and I was always fascinated by how they created sound. This kit from Adafruit teaches you the electronics behind synthesizers and how they actually work. Built around the Atmega 328, which is our, an Arduino compatible CPU, it includes five pots, as well as photocell and multiple caps and resistors. So this is a solder heavy project. It can be purchased directly from digikey.com as a complete kit, and it comes pre-programmed. So in this pre-program, you will be able to control sound as well as use it as a step sequencer. There are also mini headers available so that you can connect it to your computer and use it in a DAW software. All this power comes at a very low cost. So now I'm going to put my board on this vise and we are going to start. So now I'm going to put this board on my vise and we are going to start soldering. There's only a few components we have here. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. And I'm gonna, just going to leave these Altoids here because we got a lot of them. So now that we've finished soldering our minty synth, we are going to drill out holes in our enclosure to mount the audio jack and the synth itself. So now that we have this drilled in, we are going to take it off the vise. We are going to first put a piece of cardboard down the size of the tin box, and this is so none of the connections on the back of the PCB short out. And then we are going to Go with our audio jack in first into this hole, push down the synth, and screw in our last nut. So now we need to demo. So uh, Grace, do you mind helping me out with the speaker? Yes, of course. Awesome. On you, and I brought you some Altoids. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to save these for later. <laughs> Actually, that's actually kind of awkward when I do these. Set them down. All right. I think I'm going to set these off for later. So um, first, we need to go over what the actual buttons do. So if we want to get into the demo song so we can mess around with this, uh, the sounds a little bit, we press the first button down and flip the switch. So this gives us our demo song. So the first. Uh, potentiometer, the first wheel is going to change the BPM of the song, how fast it's played. That's pretty good right there. And then our second wheel is going to change our pitch of the fourth voice. So then the next wheel is going to change how long the notes last. Then our uh, fourth wheel is going to change how our envelope acts, so we can make the notes longer, or the envelope longer, or short, kind of stabby. Okay. Then our fifth wheel is going to change the syncopation of the song. That's how the song is played. So it gets pretty fun. So then our next, uh, our next are our buttons, and there's. Uh, Five more buttons at the bottom, and these all change the different kinds of waveforms. So we can have something like more organy, and then we can have something more uh, synthy, distorted. That's go. nice, distorted. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the uh, Minty Synth demo. Uh, thanks for watching. It's pretty neat. Thanks. Yeah? Why?